Uh, Camido, uh, a couple of weeks or a month ago, he made some assertions that it didn't really sit well uh, with Ghanaian women. Some Ghanaian women. I'm sure Ms. Brown was part of those women <laughs> who were not so happy about the comments he made on a podcast where he sort of insinuated that Ghanaian women are not open-minded enough. Mm. And uh, today mm. I have guys mm. here. Mm. So mm. this mm. one, I'm mm. going to throw it to them. Mm. And I'm sure they've been in the dating pool for a mm. minute, uh, especially Sir Chris. No. So, oh. oh. <laughs> 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 Sir Chris, I'm sure you've uh, had encounters uh, with nah, Ghanaian women. Or you don't, you don't do Ghanaian women. Mm. Mm. I'm a Ghanaian. I mean, I have yeah. not traveled out yeah. of Ghana. Oh, so but people are in Ghana that don't, don't do Ghanaian women. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I have, not, I, have not, I have not experienced that. Yet. But generally, do you think well, Ghanaian women see, are not open minded? Um, uh, you cannot put every everybody in one box. Mm. There are some women that are fantastic. You engage them, and the kind of things they tell you, the kind of things they speak to you about, mm -hmm. you know, very deep. Some some Ghanaian women are great. They are very deep. They are very intelligent. They know what they want. They know what they are looking for. You know, the kind of conversation they will have with you, very deep. Some, yes, of course, I understand. Some are shallow-minded. And it is not only uh, women. Some men also have, you know, are shallow-minded. Some men are also shallow-minded. Not only women. You understand? So you cannot just say that Ghanaian women, I don't know how many Ghanaian women he has engaged. I don't know how many Ghanaian women he has had an encounter with. That was my uh, to 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 actually generalize to make that general statement. Mm. I I think that it was way below the you know belt. the belt. I mean that was way below the belt. Someone can he also say that for the fact that he made that statement, mm -hmm. he 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 also not deep minded. Mm. Oh yes, for the fact that he also made that statement means that he's also not deep minded mm. because I don't mm. think he has engaged every Ghanaian mm. woman. Mm. I don't think he has mm. engaged every Ghanaian woman. You know, so mm. as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. you you engage some of the, even some young girls, you engage them in a conversation and 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 the way and the kind of things they will tell you. You'll be mm. surprised. Yes, some too, of course. <coughs> I mean, it happens. All humans are not the same. But you know, generalizing and putting everybody in one box. No, that's that that, that was way below the belt. I me. think that's how come he's now apologizing, Wooly. And and it is it is right. He, he right, apologizes. Right, he's apologizing. I beg to swear from where my brother. Is. <laughs> I beg to swear. <sighs> See, when someone is telling you about his story, uh -uh. it is not your story. <clears throat> it is his experience. Mm. We don't know the number of ladies, Ghanaian ladies he has dated. Mm. And now we don't know the number of Lasgidi girls he's dating. <laughs> or Lasgidi. in Nigeria. <laughs> the ones in Lasgidi. <laughs> or the ones in uh, VI. Victoria, Victoria, Victoria Island. Island. <laughs> or the ones in Ekoi. <laughs> 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 Banana Island. Yes, or the ones in Paris or mm. in England. We mm. don't know. Mm. The experiences he has seen. Mm. reason he will make this. I always say that you can't tell somebody's story. It is from his experience. And there's an experience that happens one, two, three. From and the so same side. So he should side. have stood by it. So if it's if, your experience, if, 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 stand if, by if, it. Stand I by see, your statement. Why can't you? You can Why would you come and apologize? Wait, wait, why would you now come back? How many women have you known in your life? I'm not even interested in that. How many women have you ever met in his life? You don't even What kind of women? What this is your story? So this is two against one. I can see this is two against one. I want them to put on You guys put on. Let's let let Willy finish with Come. submission yeah, and then out. we can come in Willie, and you have go. never been come <laughs> <laughs> you know what is I know you <laughs> <laughs> see he, he might have his own experiences with these women mm. and I feel the the apology might be from the back of how people are reacting to it mm. but I feel genuine. if he's man enough he should stand by his words okay. simple me I can tell you for a fact that I don't feel like I'm comfortable with any Ghanaian lady again Hey, that if might I hear be you me. mention my name again, <laughs> this is how we like it in the town. If I hear you mention my name again, so 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 basically, what you are trying to say is that he should stick to what he said initially. Yeah, exactly, exactly, because that's his point. He he has had experience with Ghanaian ladies and he has mm. not helped him. But now he's going to meet 
Ne, ne film padie, his ribs in probably so you equally. also so you also think you also think that you also think that Nigerian women are more exposed and open minded than Nigerian women. It is his experience. Women. Exposed to what he has had an encounter with a Nigerian lady and has had an encounter no, with Ghanaian ladies. No, but you are ladies. siding with him now. Yes, I'm just saying is now. Is that what you also make of it? I have not been in any sort of relationship with any Nigerian lady okay. before. So I will be the worst person to tell you mm. this and that. I've been with Ghanaian ladies. I've been with very good women and I've been with not so good women. Mm. Not so good women. I've been with plenty. So it's hey. sometimes it's normal. Wait. It's normal for you to have your points when it comes to these sort of things. I feel it's his view, and we should all respect his view when he says he views these Nigerian ladies are uh, more enlightened because I have been friends with some Nigerian girls before, not a relationship. And sometimes when you are even having conversations with them, that kind of things they bring out, okay. it will be hard for you to get some of those things from some Ghanaian ladies. Right. I'm not saying all Ghanaian ladies. Mm. Some. Mm. So again, this is experience, his experience. So let's respect that. Uh, Miss Brown, do you think that when Ghanaian men say um, a woman me, is not if it touch me. open-minded, it means that the woman is not allowing them to, to have fun, have with, fun them. with them? So, you see, uh, uh, the, the question I'm going to ask is, how many women has he ever met in his life? Mm. How many Ghanaian women has he met? How many women? He's a star. He's met many. Good. So you see, when you get to a certain point in life, the people that rush you are not the people that you need. Mm. Let's put it like that. So the people that had come to him, had thrown themselves to him, they are not necessarily supposed to be intelligent. If a woman is not open-minded, what is his definition of that? We have intelligent women, and it only takes an intelligent person to know who an intelligent person is. So if so he I feels... Say, <laughs> are you trying to say he's daft? If he feels mm. the women he has met were not open-minded, then he is shallow-minded then. Mm. Are you trying to say he's daft? So if he had said some Ghanaian women mm. are not open-minded because they are not abreast or they are not Maybe all exposed. the Ghanaian women he's had encounter he with are me. people who are not... He has not met me and I he won't be able those... to sit in my face for one hour and think he has something to say. I bet you on that. Make, 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 when I say some, <laughs> when we go out here, I'll get trouble. So I will say some again. <laughs> so my point is, it takes an intelligent person to see an intelligent person. I won't dispute the fact that we have a lot of women who have decided not to be intelligent because they they have decided to choose what is on the street mm. and be what is on the street. Mm. The fact that someone is on the street doesn't mean they are no intelligent. Okay. Let's not dispute that fact. Right. We have a lot of street girls that are very intelligent. That if you have to sit them down, the things they can expose you to, you'll mm. be surprised. Mm. We have women that are exposed and open-minded. So let's watch the people we pick, the people we go out with, the people we date. Let's not put everybody in the same box. All right, so let's not put everybody in the same box. I'm sure uh, that is the advice Camido also had. That's why he's come out to apologize. So that's it uh, with that. Make sure that you send in your comments as well. Let's hear your thoughts wherever it is that you're watching us from. Make sure you drop your comments in the comment section. And then maybe next week when we come, we'll try and read some for you and then laugh about it and then life will go on. <laughs>